Hey guys, so in the last time we talked about how to extract data from a URL. Now we're going to see how to extract a JSON and parse it from a request body. Now to do that we're going to use uh, three endpoints. Uh, each one of them will be a different way to do that and we're going to talk about at the end what's the differences and what uh, it's better to use. So let's start by creating the first endpoint. Let's say it will be a post and cats. Let's say it will be a decade. Oops. Let's create a function for this handler. Let's say it get. Uh, it will be like the other eight context, which returns an arrow. Now let's go and create a destruct for the cat object. Let's say just for the sake of it, we have like before a string of name which you want to be represented in JSON, not capital capitalized. Oops and a type which will be also a string and also represented as not capitalized cool so now let's uh, initiate this object now let's import a native package of io utils Which will ret and use the read all. Uh, <coughs> sorry, re uh, use the read all uh, method, which will return the body and an arrow, which is which will re read the body uh, of uh, the request. And to access the body, we can use the uh, echo context object and use the request function and get the body from it. Now if we're going to access the body we need to uh, close it um, when the function scope is exit. So let's sorry. Let's access it. And close it. Now let's handle the arrow. We're going to get error not nil. We're going to let's say let's add the log uh, package. We're going to log a failed let's say reading the body the quest body and show the arrow in the logs and to the client we're just going to return a string with this code of status internal server error which is a 500 and with nothing more than that cool now that we've done that let's use the encoding json another native uh, golem uh, package and let's pulse it to return an arrow which arrow we have already exist uh, here so we don't need to initiate it again let's unmarshal it and uh, marshal the data which is the body and the memory uh, address of our uh, object again with the error let's just copy paste the error handling and let's say failed unmar shelling uh, and and let's for uh, cool. 
do the same and now we have our object we can just uh, log it uh, or add it to the uh, database or whatever we want to do with it let's just use the verbose to see the keys and the values and that's it and if everything is okay we'll return let's say string which to be okay and let's say cool now let's build it and now we need to use some kind of a client to talk with our server i will use uh, homes uh, dhc there are also postman and many others now to install G dhc um, extensions for home just go to the ext uh, extensions uh, web store home web store sorry and edit here i don't need to edit because i have it already installed so just open it and if you never played with uh, one of these before it's fairly easy uh, you just create a http request it's already http you can as uh, choose http or https uh, method types uh, headers and etc so let's say when you want to talk about the local host 8000 let's say cats change it to post and if you click json what i want to get uh, the header application json for a uh, json body and now let's create our uh, our payload so let's say uh, i don't know and oops and the type will be let's close it in json and let's send it so we got the uh, 200 uh, back we got our uh, success uh, message if we go and see in the logs we see that we logged uh, the name and the type successfully so this was one method now let's go to see a, a shorter uh, one it's a new decode the new decoder uh, of the json encoding package so let's create another one for that let's say another post let's say this will be dogs and uh, dog let's create the handler for it um, dog, let's turn it now now let's create and uh, the stack for it obviously it's not the best way to uh, copy paste like that but we're not going for efficiency we're just going uh, to show uh, the different options for it so this is I guess the shortest way let's initiate the dog let's say dog um, again we're going to access the body uh, of the request so let's defer it And now we're going to use JSON new encoder. Decoder, sorry. So to decode it, we're just going to give it the uh, request body and decode it same to the object. Now for error handling, let's do something similar. Let's say failed let's say failed uh, processing and 
request and the arrow. Now instead of sending back the string, we can, do, we can send an arrow object, which will be of a package. Um, and to get uh, the code and the message you want to send. So here you can send the arrow if you like as a string or uh, just send nothing, which I prefer. If you send nothing, you will get uh, basically the status internal server arrow uh, as uh, words uh, instead of only the code. So this is one way to do it. And now uh, let's just copy paste it because this will be the same. This is your dog, dog, oops. And we got your dog, right? Right. Okay, so let's stop it. Let's build it, run it. And let's go to see the same as the dogs. Oops. Let's see. Dogfish and I don't know, something like that. Send it, and we got your dog 200, everything is good, and we get it uh, logged here perfectly. Cool. So now those two were uh, the native Go uh, uh, ways to do it without using any third party uh, package. The third way to do it is to use echo uh, method. So let's create another one. Let's say this one will be hamsters because hell, why not? Add hamster. Let's create a function for it. The handler. Stir and same as before a echo context turns an l oops cool now let's create the same thing for the hamster oh, okay that went wrong and they're cool and uh, now let's get our hamster object there. And now all we need to do here is to use the echo context and run bind on it. And just uh, uh, give it the memory address of the hamster object that we just initiated. And that's it. So the error processing will be the same and the printing will be also same instead of this will be add hamster stir and this will be stir hamster and stir. Cool. So up until now, we can see this is the shortest uh, probably method and most cleanest to use. Let's see that it works. Oops. Come on. Yeah. Run it, clean it, and still there's um let's post it and we get your hamster we have logs i punch it twice by mistake and everything is peachy So now you ask yourself, which one should I use? Now I ran some uh, performance uh, testing on the three of them. And what I got was um, that the method we used on the add cats, which is the most uh, bare bone uh, method, 
is the fastest. Now, the new decoder is almost there uh, as performance wise, uh, very close, um, almost there. But Echo's bind method is significant, it's not significantly, but it is slower than the two other ones. So uh, there's that. And another thing to consider is to bind yourself uh, to a third party uh, party uh, methods, meaning that if you have a couple hundreds of handlers and you want to switch to another uh, web server uh, package, now you have more uh, code to refactor when uh, you want to do something like that. Adding that with the performance uh, issue, I would uh, I would use for my project and I'm using for my project uh, the new decoder. If you're really, really, really a performance uh, fanatic, then I would use some kind of a util uh, function that use, uh, I would create some kind of a util function that uses uh, the IO util read all and JSON on Marshall methods and use that one in all of my codes. Um, so yeah, that's it. So if you want to see how I did this uh, performance testing, uh, please comment below when I make a video about it. I just think it's a little bit out of the scope uh, of uh, this video. And uh, I think this is it for uh, this video. And thank you for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye.